Hello YouTube, and welcome to another TFT video here with your buddy Juicy Juicy. And today we are playing on the ranked ladder, and I think I'm going to be having a very special treat for you all, and that is I'm going to show you how I play TFT and try to win through this game. Uh, just to be completely transparent, I am a diamond player realistically. I've only climbed up to plat 2 so far. But in most of my sets, if you look me up, I've reached Diamond. Diamond 2 being the highest I've ever reached. But I think I have a, a pretty good knowledge on how to play this game. So I kind of skipped over the first part already, which is the portal, which is called Scuttle Puddle. And at the beginning of the game, you will usually get three portals to choose from. And they're, they're like little arrangements with the game that change it ever so slightly and turn it into something else so for this one that i got for example scuttle puddle it turns all of these these are supposed to be minions they turned into little scuttle crabs that you kill and they don't attack you or anything and they give you a bunch of loot now the whole point of tft is just to form a board that makes your units as strong as they possibly can be and how you do that is you get triples of a unit and it upgrades the unit to a higher level. Just like this Jax right here. I found three Jaxes so now he's a two star which just boosts up all of his stats. And he's a big boy. They also have two traits on them. And you really want to line up the traits because they all have unique abilities that make your dudes a lot stronger. Like, for example, have two Dryad and two Warden in, because these are two Wardens. Wardens make it so that they take less damage. Dryads gain a stacking buff, depending on how many units they kill. Now, there's a lot of comps in this game that you could choose from. Oh, but, you know, it's kind of transitory. Sometimes it's just what you get. Sometimes you can really try to force a certain outcome, but that doesn't really work a lot of the time. Um, another thing I forgot to explain is like with your gold You can make if you make 10 gold at the end of the round you will get one more gold and It goes up to fifth like five gold once you reach 50 gold and that's called interest these over here are items and combining them together turns them into a better item and then this right here these are augments and for example this one if i give a champion an item he will get 200 health they all do different things you have one free reroll on them um it's kind of hard to choose what i want to pick here i was going to choose whatever i just rerolled there but let's see let's just do healing orbs because this will give our unit some healing capability and okay we got a bunch of kha'zixes here so what we're going to do, we might go, it's hard for me to, I've never really tried explaining this and uh, playing at the same time, but it's kind of hard. Alright, so there are 10 levels in total. And once you, the higher you level up, the higher units that you'll find. So like, for example, Kabuko is a one cost unit, so you have a 55% chance of finding him at level four, which is what I currently am right now. And it goes up to five costs, which are legendary units that are extremely strong. They're very, very good. Uh, now, here I'm, a, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start trying to Econ. Uh, when when I say econ, I am referring to making at least 10 gold so that I can make the little extra gold after the round is up. And I think, see right there, we're at 10 gold. So it says right there that our interest will be plus one gold uh, by the end of this round, as long as I have 10 still. There's also win streaks and lose streaks. So once I win twice, I'll start getting a passive, another gold income once the round is over. 
uh, but it looks like I'm going to lose here, which isn't great. It's not ideal. Just this unit right here, Darius, is insanely strong. Yeah. He has absolutely shattered me now. Part of the reason that that happened is because I have all these items right here sitting in my bench. And the rule is, when you have four items, you usually want to slam one. And just build it and, like, tough it out. So I'm being a little greedy here. Because I'm going for a very specific build. I don't know exactly what I'm going to play 100% yet. But I'm thinking... There's a build called Heavenly Cane, and let's see if anybody else is going him. So this guy is definitely going him already, and he hit an Orn, which is a 4 cost unit. So that sucks for us, because that guy is really strong now. This guy is also going Heavenly, so maybe we won't go Heavenly. Um, there are only a certain number of units of these units right here, so if everybody's picking up the same unit, they can be bought out and then nobody else can get that unit so if there is multiple people in your lobby going the same thing you just it's not good you can't get your units because they don't exist anymore once they're all out <laughs> now this this is really kind of a shame i think we're gonna win here yeah so see we're we're doing something that's pretty bad which is called mix streaking, where we're winning one round and losing the other round. That really sucks because, oh man, this Nara would be great. Spatula. So th this is an encounter right here. So once you see these little swivel things up here. Oh dude, that's a Kiana right there. I'm getting that. So these little swivels right here on top of the screen, they are encounters. Now, Encounters is like an, a new mechanic that they added this set. Where you will have an encounter with a unit like this. And they're all different. And depending on what happens, uh, there is a... There is a different outcome, depending on what you get. Now, I'm going to level up here, which is going to leave me at 19 gold. But the reason I'm doing that is because... Hopefully that makes me strong enough to win this next round. So I can get the two win streak going. It'll give me an extra gold. And then I'll go up to 20 gold as well. Which will give me another extra gold. I'm, I admittedly am not the best at econing. Um, but I'm really going to try. Because it's one of the most important, if not the most important part of the game. Especially right now. Where you have to hit a very high level in order to find units that are strong enough to defeat your opponents. See, like, this guy has 40 gold. Like, he might be losing really hard, but he has 40 gold. And he's playing a trait called Fortune, which benefits from him losing. So he's actively trying to lose. So that his gold outcome can increase. And it's, it's going to work well. I got a good feeling it's going to go well. All right. So, it looks like I was already playing Heavenly Cane before, while well, I was playing Double Up with my friend. Which, you can find some more videos on that on my channel if you're interested. Um, but it looks like I, Cane and Morgana are really the most important units for this composition. But we do need Nico. We'll take a Lee Sin as well. We'll just see what I get. Oh, this right here on the top right is something that a lot of people don't use. It's called the Team Planner. What's Snapshot do? Yeah, I don't know what that does, actually. Oh, I see. It snapshots your board. That's cool. I never knew that that could happen. Oh, this guy's also going Heavenly. See, everybody's going Heavenly. And actually, I went for Kiana. Even though I said I wasn't going to go Heavenly. But she's just a really good unit. Look at her go. This guy's also at 50 gold. He's actually going to have an absurd amount of gold because of this augment that he took. It reduces his health right off the bat by 30, but he gets so much gold. And, you know, if I was offered that augment, I would take it too, because it is insanely strong. Okay, now, I think we can slam items here after this round. We're at 33 gold. We want to get above 50, and then, then we can start spending our gold. Um, just not all the way down. What is this? Okay, there we go. I finally clicked off that. Let's see if we get anything useful here. 
Another Gnar would be good because a two star Gnar is very, very strong. Oh, a Kindred. We wanted that, actually. And we made over 40 gold, which is amazing. And there's a Morgana. That's really nice. Okay, we can take out this. Uh, we're gonna have to give Nar. We're giving Nar our items. He's gonna hold them for us. Here's a Morgana. Now, Morgana would be quite useful here. I'm gonna go level six, and I'll still make a decent amount of income. But I really want to add this Morgana in here. With this, she's really strong. She's really, really a strong unit. You just really need another ghostly unit like her. Her, her little trade here. Her trade is really good. Makes her do increased percentage damage on units that ghostly units hit over and over again. Which happens to be a lot throughout one fight. Oh, look at that. It's working out pretty well. I might, might win that. Yep. We want to keep... We definitely want to keep wind streaking here without having to spend our gold. So, like Morgan is doing quite well. Big grab bag. Your Reapers gain 8% critical chance and 4% Omni Vamp. This would be good because Kane is a Reaper, dude. I'm going to reroll it though because we might not go that ultimately. Okay. Lots of items, nothing that we needed, which is unfortunate, but it happens. i um, trying to think of what items I can slam. I need at least one chain vest, and I need the bow. And then everything up here is pretty much fair game. So I only need those down there, so what I could do, is I could do this. And give them some items that they could use. See, this will this will make her do more damage here. We're just trying to get a little bit stronger at a time without losing all of our gold. Is the goal here? Now, unfortunately, we we lose to this guy because he's a lot stronger than we are. So that sucks, but it's okay. Let's we're still pretty healthy. We just lost our streak, which is unfortunately pretty sad. Uh, we have this guy. He's going Gnar, the same unit that I'm using right now to hold my items for me. Um, did anybody switch out of Heavenly? This guy has two. Okay, this is extremely lucky, and I'm glad it happened here because it shows some of the RNG aspect of the game. So I only have a 5% chance to find a unit that's for gold. But we found Kane, which is actually our carry unit for this composition. And this item's not bad on him. I think we're going to slam items on him like, like this. So he can start doing some damage. Some serious damage. Uh, we no longer need her. We don't need Nar. Edge of Night is really the best item on him, so hopefully we find one. But I just wanted to put some items on him to make sure that he could win. And look at him go. I mean, that's just amazing. Like I said, those aren't his best items. But sometimes you just got to make do with what you got. And uh, if we keep our win streak going pretty, pretty hard here, then we will be at a great spot. Oh, I have some cat hair on my nose from one of my cats. See right there, everybody's gonna go for that. If only we were first pick. Oh, this is the carousel right here. So the way that you get to choose in the carousel would be however much HP you have. So the lowest HP gets the pick first and then it, you know, it goes higher. The higher HP you have, the later you go. Um, we're just gonna take him right here because he is a three cost unit. I suppose we could have gone for another item for Morgana, but I think we'll just hit that naturally. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. 
Now, I know he's a lower cost unit, but the fact that Heavenly is in there will make my whole board stronger, so I think it's quite worth doing, as well as this. Um, this right here is fine. We're going to lose out on a gold, but it'll make our board so much stronger that we probably don't care too much. Then we just need another Heavenly unit in there. Okay, so... This guy's really strong. He's been winning all game. He's been winning all game, and he might kill us here. Arcane doesn't just shred everybody. Come on, get him. No way. That's awesome. That's awesome. We are strong. We're strong. He's a very strong composition. I did not think we were going to get this lucky, and you can see that there is multiple other people in here. Trying to play the same thing. Now we need a fourth Reaper because that really synergizes well with our Kane. Make him stronger. And Yone right here is the other Reaper that we need. And we just want to try to stay above 50 gold. Oh, see, this guy has a Kane right here and he has a lot of heavenly units. He's really strong. He just hit that cane, and he hit a Lissandra, which is just sad. Here, hopefully if we... Oh yeah, I forgot about to mention positioning. There's a lot of stuff to mention, so you're going to have to forgive me. I'm inevitably going to miss some stuff. This guy's going another really strong column. It's called uh, Porcelain Ash. And as you can see, the goal of it is, is to have Annie over here tank all the damage, which he's doing a great job at. And then you have... Ash in the back line, shoot everybody and kill them. It's, it's very effective. Just, uh, we got really lucky and hit that cane early on, so our board is pretty strong at the moment. Now we're back to Scuttle Crabs. Um, I'm picking up Diana here because she's a really good unit. She has Sage. She has a trait called Sage. And it gives... Uh, everyone in the front line Omnivamp, which gives them healing, and it gives everybody in the back line AP, which they're all AP, so it gives them more damage. So that would definitely be good for our board. We'll see. Oh, a golden orb. Lots of gold. Okay, that's good. We can keep leveling up then. And a sword. Okay, now we would really wish we had a magnetic remover, which what that does is removes items that are slammed onto your units because an edge of night or a bloodthirster those are some of the best possible items that you could get on arcane here okay and this is going to probably be the best that i could add would be four four of these maybe three for sage might be good uh, i'm not sure i'm not sure if it would be better or not Okay, well, that's a lot of tanky units up front. This guy's also going Porcelain Ash, it seems. But hopefully, since Arcane has four Reaper... Oh, he's getting stunned really hard. He has a lot of healing on him, though. Oh, no. That Annie is a ferocious monster, man. Look at her go. She's really strong. What, what we really need is to two-star... Arcane. We need to find two more canes in order to make him just a little bit bigger so he doesn't die so easily. Looks like there's a lot of porcelain in here as well. Alright. And these. Let's see what we can get here. Haunted House. Pandora's items wouldn't be bad. This is going to give me a support item. So we're going to take this. And who do we want to put this on? Summon a large voice bond. Uh, this will give my cane more stats. So I'm going to give this to the cane here. And here we go. We get a cane. I'm rolling down a little bit of my gold. Okay, I rolled out a lot of my gold, but... What I really wanted was to get a two-star cane. We didn't hit that, unfortunately, but 
<laughs> it happens. Definitely happens. I think I might give... Because we definitely need... You know what? We need to go level 9. That's what we need to do. Like, even though we haven't hit Arcane yet, we just kind of have to go level 9 so we have another unit to put in and a higher chance of finding stronger units. So I think that's our next goal for now. It's just to go level 9 and add in somebody that we might need. Uh, Nico would be a good choice because she would give me even more Heavenly and that's kind of a... The premise of this comp is you just add in a bunch of heavenly units and uh but we really want to hit two star cane let's see how many are out of the champion pool okay this guy has a two star cane he has two two star canes he's just rolled down all his gold i see okay we might roll down a little bit more there we go we just needed to hit our two star cane before he does all right that's good can do this and hopefully Kane just walks around here. Oh, and then I can move my Morgana. One to the right. Oh, we're fighting him. He's really strong. Hopefully we beat him, though. Even though he has a bunch of Heavenly. And he has really good Kane items. But maybe we can beat him. Maybe. Come on. Come on, Kane. I believe in you, bro. Nice. Good. We really wanted to beat this guy. Look at him. I'm just pinging him to stress people out. Oh, look. My friend wants to play. Let me finish. I'm going to play some double up afterwards with him. Um, I'm trying to go level 9 like I keep saying. Uh, it's just hard because I keep rolling down my gold. But I can have some very, very diamond hands now. That I can just chill and wait. Oh, I should have gotten the other sword. The other sword would have been fantastic. I was not thinking. Okay. That is a two-star Soraka. So that's good. Uh, one more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. I'm going to sell him for gold. Because what we really want is more heavenly in. Maybe it's the 4 Reaper that really helped out. Let's see what 4 Reaper does. Additionally, Reapers bleed enemies for 45% bonus true damage. Yeah, that's that's quite good. Looks like 4 Reaper is the move. Oh yeah, I forgot. I had them all stacked up like that so they would all get bonuses from this. And I forgot to move my Morgana over. There's a lot of stuff that you have to keep in uh, mind while playing. Okay, come on. You can do it, Kane. You can do it, bro. Okay. That Lilia back there, she really got me. Oh, nice. That's amazing. We've taken a lot of really good augments that help out our team quite a bit. So we're going to reposition our units here. We're not going to forget to. Going to reposition our units properly. There we go. It's probably the best bet that we can get in there. Oh, my phone is going off. I apologize for that. Uh, let's see. We just chill. We just chill for another round. Okay, see, so this is why positioning is important. Like, if I my cane was standing right there, I think... Now, I don't know if he would have walked back there and gotten him, actually. Oh, no. This guy is so strong. He must... Oh, he's not even level 9. He's just been rolling down, and he's playing Force of Lanash, so... This unit right here, I think, is the strongest one out of any of them, to be honest. She crowd controls your units by turning them into a teapot, and then she juices them into tea and you get gold for it, so it's quite good. It's really quite good. Okay, now we are definitely above 50 gold, which is amazing. We're pretty healthy, comparatively to the rest of everybody else in here. Uh, we really want this guy to be eliminated because we don't want him to mul multiply Kane into a three star. If he gets a three star Kane, we're in trouble. Also, if he gets eliminated, 
it's really good for us because all of the units that he has will go back into the champion pool in the store and then maybe we can hit our own three star cane so i'm gonna level up here and i'm gonna go ahead and start slamming items And I think I'm gonna just give Udir his best shot here. Give him some items. And I know, I know, uh, she's not a tank here, but we're just gonna give her some tank items because somebody needs to hold them. There's just no point, uh, this late in the game to be sitting there with our items and not doing anything with them, so. I decided to slam them all on my champs. Oh, this is another really strong build. It's Trick Shot Kaisa. But we got her. Good. We're just a little bit ahead, so. Okay. That's strange. I've never seen that before. Okay, now we're at another carousel, and this is a special encounter where if you dance around you get extra items and it looks like this guy's choosing not to participate uh, he probably doesn't want to give anybody else any anything extra Ooh, look at him he's rolled down quite a bit is he is he level eight i wonder yeah he's level eight so that's really good for us because at level eight you have a very much lower chance of seeing the stuff that you need oh, dude i would love a hextech gunblade and there it is. This will just give her a little bit extra healing. Right here. And then Udir. There we go. That looks a lot better here. Okay. Hopefully that works out. Now our shield gives us the highest amount of value. <laughs> okay. That was a strange way to walk around for Kane, but... Hopefully they can handle it. Okay, ult. Nice ult. Go get the Lilia, please. Lilia and Ash, the most dangerous. Oh, Kane just executed her. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, we will sell that for gold. If we get to go level 10, that would be very good, because then we would have the highest outcome of seeing the very, very good units. And we would be level 10, so we could add in another champion, probably either Wukong here. Either Wukong or maybe, yep, this seems like a better replacement. Now, I really kind of want to transfer these items onto our Wukong here because Wukong is extremely strong. But I don't think we can. I don't think we can yet. Our Udir is. He's doing some work, so we don't want to get rid of him yet. Alright. This is quite a large cluster here. Oh, Lissandra has turned our best unit into a teapot, and she destroyed him entirely. That's not great. Udyr is trying his best. This guy is very tanky. He might be, uh, he might be pretty hard to kill at the end here. Let's see. Another Udir would serve us well in transferring our items. Who's left? Porcelain guy. And a bunch of other dudes. Let's see, can we get that Udir? I'll take him though. Yeah, if you're not going to take him, I will. Thanks, dude. Let's see. I think I'm going to keep him. So I have like a lot higher of a chance of seeing right? a 5 cost. And he's already 2 starred. So we probably want to 3 star him. I have these units over here. Because I don't want them blocking off my, <laughs> my important units. They already have a really tough time getting around. So he doesn't need it really. Like it would definitely make him stronger. But he doesn't quite need it. I'll just do this for Yone. 
I might put him over here in the clump as long as it doesn't have some weird interaction. Uh-oh. My cane is in trouble. He is... Oh, no, dude. Just keeps... This Lissandra just keeps destroying our cane. This guy is really strong. He might be the strongest person in the, in the lobby. It looks like the other cane player got eliminated. Which is really awesome for us. Let's see. No cane. He's going the dragon. Oh, he has a duelist. That's pretty large. Uh, invoker porcelain. <sighs> Lots of Lissandras. Sadly. Lissandra is a very good unit. Um, let's try and do... No, I messed them up. <laughs> oh, and we're fighting this guy, so this isn't really... This is a bad outcome for our, uh, for us. I need to take Kane out of the middle of combat because he is he's struggling to survive. Oh, okay. We were definitely strong enough to beat this guy because of our Kane. Now, I don't think there is any more Kanes in the champion pool. And it looks like somebody got elimed. No cane, no cane. Okay, this is the very big scuttle. So it's a hard choice between going level 10 or rolling down. I think I would prefer to roll down. These guys are... Oh man, and this guy's just hitting everything, huh? Okay, we're definitely gonna roll down. We're gonna try to hit three star cane. I think we need him to win if we wanna get first place. This guy's level 10. Which is a little scary. Alright, we're gonna roll down. Another Udyr. And... Giant Slayer. Oh, that is a three-star Orn. Okay. So th this is a what a three-star four cost is like. Kind of an unkillable god of destruction. So he's definitely going to get us. As for heavenly units, I think we're going to end up selling Soraka. More gold, right? Oh, we are very close to three-star Udyr. We don't have a lot of HP, so... Um, we're... <laughs> okay, so... That's a large hit right there. Um, we probably need him three-starred right now. Oh, it didn't work, man. Okay, well, I kind of deserve that because I took so long. But we did hit the three-star cane, so... We have our own three-star four costs. It might help us actually win. Three-starring Udyr is really the... The only way we're actually going to win, though. Hopefully we can hit him. Maybe we uh, get really lucky. Okay, no more Udyr, but we do have a cane. Two-star this guy. As for these dudes right here, we want to leave Wukong an opening so he can walk in there. Okay, who am I fighting? This guy with the three-star Galio. I hope he didn't switch his Aurelia. Okay, I left him right here. Maybe we can walk back there. He doesn't have a Knight's Edge, which is a little sad, but... Come on, Kane. You can do it, bro. 
Come on, Kane. You can do it, bro. You can do it. No, he can't do it. He's getting stuck. Aw, oh, okay. So right there, what I should have done was tried to three-star Udyr, which I definitely could have done because nobody else was using him and I was only two away. So, GG. It's a third place. The state of the game right now is insane. You, it's really, I kind of like it, honestly, because you have to be so strong in order to win. Um, but yeah, follow, follow and subscribe for more. I will keep trying to show you how to play this, even though it's utterly insane right now.